All right. Hello, everyone. We're just going to wait one more minute to see, just give everyone time to join, uh, and then I'll go ahead and get started. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and get started. So hello everyone, today's webinar is gonna be covering uh, the National Foundation for Transplants and how they were able to find success on the Mighty Cause platform uh, using the Mighty Cause Advanced subscription. Alrighty. Uh, so first I'll just introduce myself. I am your host, my name is Austin Story. I am the Community Development Manager here at Mighty Cause. And you can always feel free to reach out to me directly at austin at mightycause.com um, following this presentation. Ready. So today's agenda, we will be covering the National Foundation for Transplants fundraising process, their transi transition to Mighty Cause Advanced, how Mighty Cause Advanced was able to improve their fundraising process, uh, then kind of some of the success we have seen them have on the platform. And then towards the end, I'll just do an overview of the Mighty Cause Advanced and then open it up for questions. Alrighty. And this presentation will be being recorded, so um, you will be able to review this after as well. Okay. So first, we'll just get started by covering the National Foundations for Transplants fundraising process, because um, it is a little bit unique and it will be important when we talk about how they moved over to the platform. Okay. So the way their fundraising process works is it's kind of a two pronged approach. They have one large kind of greatest need fund for general donations, um, which is pretty standard, I think, for most nonprofit organizations. Then the second part is that they have individual campaigns for transplant patients. Um, and this means kind of each individual patient that enrolls in their program has their own page. And something I learned is that it's very important for transplant patients to have a fundraising page up because if you are looking to get a uh, transplant donation and you cannot you know, afford it yourself, one of the conditions is you, that you have to be actively fundraising. So these fundraising pages are extremely important for those transplant um, patients to actually receive them. If they do not have one up, they may not be considered um, if they're not actively fundraising. And this will be important later on, but it is extremely important for each patient to have their own page. And so when they were looking to transition to Mighty Cause, they had a thousand active campaigns on their previous platform. All right. So next we'll talk about their transition to Mighty Cause. Okay. So they had a number of different needs um, when they were looking to move over to our platform. One was the migration of all of the current active campaigns that were on their previous platform, um, including the stories, images, donation data, and they had the need that the pages were going to stay live during that transition, because as I mentioned before, it's extremely important for the transplant patients. They also wanted to have a lot of branding control on the platform, and then the ability to have admin control of their pages. And last, it was a time sensitive process because the platform they were currently on was actually in the process of shutting down. So they really needed this information migrated over um, ASAP so that they could kind of continue their process, right? And kind of the results of the transition is we were able to get all of their campaigns moved over all the stories, images, data, every kind of piece was moved over quickly, and they did not, you know, miss a beat. Everything was able to stay live on their old platform while they transitioned, and then once everything was live on that, our platform, they were able to kind of rotate out of that previous one. And then we were able to offer them some custom branding to get them set up and branded on the platform, which I'll be walking through in a moment. Right. 
So next, we will talk about how Mighty Cause Advance was able to improve their fundraising process on our platform versus what they had previously. So first, we'll talk about the branding. So domain masking and branding is available on the Mighty Cause platform. This is an example of what their kind of main donation portal looks like on our platform. And if you've ever seen any of the pages on our platform, generally they'll have Mighty Cause branding in the top left corner um, and in other places as well. And the URL will generally have Mighty Cause uh, in it. But with a domain masked URL, you're able to put your own organization's name in there with either a domain you own or a subdomain, and then it will remove the Mighty Cause branding um, from majority of the spots and replace it with your own. So if you look in that top left corner there, you are able to see the National Foundation for Transplants logo versus the Mighty Cause one. Okay. So this is kind of the main branded donation portal homepage. Then additionally, with that domain masking, you get your own kind of search portal. So if you can see this search portal here is one branded for National Foundation for Transplants, but also it's a place where donors can search for the individual patients. So they have a large number of campaigns with individual patients, but they're only searching from within National Foundation for Transplants. Um, so it kind of gives you that own, your own search portal for all of your campaigns. Then additionally, the donation forms also have similar branding with your organization's logo on it as well. And we'll cover kind of some of the different options with donation forms a little later on with embedding and custom as well. But I just wanted to show that our, our Mighty Cause branding can be removed. Right. Okay, moving right along. So first kind of uh, difference they had was that branding control that was not on their previous platform, which is a big advantage. Then second is the administrative control of the campaign. So on their previous platform, they had a hard time managing the campaigns for each one of the patients, because they would have to build it themselves. And there wasn't a lot of administrative control they could do to assist the patients. But on the Mighty Cause platform, they're able to assist them directly, train them on the pages, change anything on their pages, and pages may need to start and stop as, you know, their fundraising process goes for each patient, just because, you know, a transplant patient may go through a number of different steps. So the control of campaigns was really helpful for them. It was a huge time saver so that they didn't have to kind of go through the patient to get anything adjusted. And uh, that has been a huge, you know, a huge benefit for them on our platform, that ability to save time, quickly manage all of the pages. Right. Then next, another time saving tool was the import export tools that are built into Mighty Cause Advance, as well as data integrations. So this has saved them time because of the ease of exporting and importing data, especially something like offline donations, which that term really just means any donations not coming through our payment processor. So for example, if a transplant donor or, uh, receives you know, checks um, they're able to input those quickly on their pages, which they were not able to do on their previous platform. Uh, additionally, the ability to easily export reports and kind of filter your dates and reporting data has made it extremely easy for them to access all the information they need on the platform and transfer it to outside applications where they then manage that data. Right, and I will dive a little deeper into our full list of integrations later on in the presentation. Next, another big feature um, that they have on Mighty Cause Advance that was not available on their previous platform is a dedicated support representative. So one of the things included in Mighty Cause Advance is you get a support rep assigned to your organization. Now there's an onboarding process involved in this to get you set up on the platform, walk through any initial questions, and then this is the direct person you will reach out to for support. So one, there's not really any limited time on this either. You know, whenever you have a question, you can reach out to that individual. And there's multiple methods of support. So you can receive support by email, depending on what the question is. It could be a phone call, or if it's something, you know, higher level that you need kind of a share your screen situation, you can also receive support over Zoom as well. 
Um, another piece of this is if you had a new you know, uh, employee or volunteer that was going to be taking a larger role on the platform, they could also you know, reach out to us to be trained by the support rep as well. So this was a big feature in their transition um, because they actually had a direct person to work with during that transition. Um, versus just having to go through a ticket line or something like that. So being able to build that relationship with the support representative was huge for them to build trust, you know, in Mighty Cause and help them along their path, right? And so overall, the success they have had on the platform. So since being on the platform, the National Foundation for Transplants has been able to raise over a million dollars on Mighty Cause. And their campaigns have grown from a thousand campaigns when they initially moved over to the platform. And now it is upwards of 1600 and growing every day. Um, so that's a huge increase over the past year. And then also the time saving data tools and importing and customer management have really helped them save time so they can focus more on their patients and getting them the transplants they need. Awesome. And so next, I'm just going to walk through in a little more depth some of these advanced features and how they work. And then I will definitely be going over pricing and a full list as well. Okay. So one, the embeddable donation form. So we looked at this um, as a branded uh, donation form for their organization, but let's also go over kind of all of the features. So this can be embedded directly on your organization's website. That's done through an iframe embed. And so what that means is no matter what your organization's website is built on, whether it's WordPress, Wix, our form will be compatible with it. Um, once you have the form added to your website, you're also able to make any customizations to it without pulling it down. So you can easily customize it on Mighty Cause and it will carry over onto your web form. Uh, additionally, you are able to create custom fields. So if there's specific information you're trying to gather from, from donors, for example, if you wanted to figure out how they were finding your website or how long they've been supporting you, you are able to create custom fields to gather additional data um, for your organization. Also, our form is a lot more flexible and an overall better user experience than something like a PayPal button and a lot of the other forms out there because donors will choose their amount and then scroll through the form, click donate, and they are not redirected outside of your page. Also, there's no next button or anything like that. So I'm sure some of you have seen donation forms where there's a lot of click through. You know, you put in your amount, you click next, then you put in your information, then you click next. Our form doesn't work like that. You choose your amount, fill in the payment information, and click pay. So that helps donors, you know, stay through the process. Every time you add a button into the process, you will end up losing people. So I think the fact that our donation form is really, really streamlined is extremely helpful um, to both the organization and the individuals that are attempting to donate as well. Right. And so that is the embeddable donation form. One other feature included in the advanced subscription is the supporters donor management tool. So if currently your organization is managing all of your donors in you know, a spreadsheet or just kind of a simple list, this is a massive improvement over that. The way this is going to work is all the donors that donate through the Mighty Cause platform will automatically get added into this system and we will start tracking their donation volume, so number of donations, the amount they've donated over time, information they've provided at checkout in their entire donation history. And each one will have their own donation profile where you can go through and review that uh, individual's track history with your organization. Additionally, you are able to segment individuals in this tool so you can create your own lists, um, in this little picture, we can see we have some that have an adoption volunteer tag, recurring donor, et cetera. You're able to create as many different labels as you want. And using those segments, you can actually group them and do emailing through this tool as well. So whether you want to email your entire supporter base or just a specific list, uh, this tool is very, very excellent at doing that. Then additionally, for any records you already have, you are able to import those as well. Um, or if donors come through other avenues, you can easily import them with our importing tools. So everyone who comes through our system automatically gets added. 
and then any outside information you need to plug in is easily importable. All right, and that is the supporters donor management system. Okay. Next, text to give. So text to give is also included in Mighty Cause Advanced, and this provides donors an additional method of donation. Um, it's one of the quickest ways to make a mobile donation. You're able to create as many different custom keywords as you want, and donors then text that keyword in to a phone number associated with your organization, and they are able to make a donation through our mobile portal. And so how that works is they're sent a link taking them directly to the mobile checkouts. And if for some reason they don't complete their donation as well, we will send two reminders to the individual to make sure they make that donation. Additionally, you will automatically collect phone numbers from those donors as well. So that's a nice additional piece of information. And I think a lot of use cases for this, live events are obviously huge, just having that text keyword at any sort of live campaign or event you're running on flyers, banners is a great way to receive donations at your actual event. And then also, you know, something we've seen be really successful as well is incorporating text to give keywords into live stream campaigns. That was very popular during the height of COVID um, when everyone was in lockdown. So you can kind of watermark it. So maybe it's in the corner of a live stream concert or something like that, or any YouTube content, video content you're creating, just having a method to donate featured in any of your video content is a great strategy and a great way to use this text to give tool as well. Right. And then moving on to integration. So I wanted to dive a little deeper into the integrations available on the platform. So we have direct API integrations with MailChimp, Salesforce, Slack, Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel. And just to briefly go over those, MailChimp is a mailing system. So what it, this will do is all of your Mighty Cause donors will automatically be imported into your MailChimp audience. Very easy to set up and it will happen in real time. So if you do use MailChimp, this is a really easy way to save time having the information communicated between the two platforms. Salesforce, same thing. Salesforce is more of a, you know, higher end donor management system, but all of your donor data would automatically flow into Salesforce in real time as well. And there is a level of customization available on that as well. Um, Slack is used so you can create a channel for all of your donation alerts. So everyone on your team can know when a donation comes through. Then Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel. Google Analytics will allow you to track how individuals are coming to Mighty Cause. So are they coming from, you know, um, marketing stuff you sent out? Are they coming from a specific website link, et cetera? So Google Analytics will track that. Facebook Pixel is similar. It's going to be tracking everything on the Facebook side. So what links and what things they're clicking on from Facebook that are getting them to your Mighty Cause pages. Then in addition to those direct integrations, we have thousands more integrations through Zappy Year, which is a third-party platform that links applications together. Some of the most popular ones are Constant Contact, Salsa CRM, or QuickBooks Online, but there's thousands more. So if there's anything you're interested in, you know, feel free to reach out by email. We can always let you know what we have an integration with. All right. And then moving right along, um, pricing for the Mighty Cause Advanced Subscription, there's two options. So there's an annual option that is $99 a month, which roughly comes out to $1,200 for a year. Or if you want to be billed monthly, you can do a month to month subscription at $119 a month. And there's no contracts, you can cancel at any time. And the subscription is easily, uh, you can set it up easily within your account settings under plan management. Then for a full feature list of all the advanced features, you have the full service CRM supporters tool, the custom embeddable donation form, the ability to digital market and email message through that supporters tool, text to give, all of the integrations, your dedicated account manager and support representative, custom branded donation receipts that will bear your organization's logo on them, volunteer management, event fundraising and unlimited campaigns, and then the domain masking and branding that we saw as well is available for an add-on of $10 a month. 
but that is a quick overview of all those advanced features, right? And so next I will leave it up to any questions that anyone has. And if you have a question, you can just type it in the chat. Okay, so does do we have an integration with Razor's Edge? We do not. Razor's Edge is not set up for an integration with Mighty Cause or Zapier, unfortunately. Right. Uh, could text to give be used for silent auction checkouts? Uh, Mighty Cause does not have any silent auction capabilities. We're specifically a donation platform, so silent auctions will not be available on our platform. Um, no integrations with Blackbot products either, unfortunately. Um, Blackbot just generally does not um, have as many integrations available uh, with platforms like ours. Right. I can dive into events a little bit more. So event pages are pages where you can have teams and individual fundraisers underneath them. So it's kind of this larger scale peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. And we integrate with Eventbrite for ticketing. So essentially what that looks like on your page is there is a donate button and a register button. So donors can go to the donate button and donate directly through. The register button will take them to Eventbrite to purchase a ticket and then re redirect them back to our event page. Um, and once again, um, I'll go back to my email again. If anyone wants to contact me directly to set up a demo, um, or you can go to our website and request a demo, I'd be happy to walk through any of these page types in depth. I can, someone asked if I can go over the cost again. Yes, give me one second. Get back there. So the pricing again is $99 a month annually which is roughly $1,200 a year. Exactly, it is $1,188. That would be billed on an annual subscription. So you'd pay that upfront and have access for the year, and then it would be renewed on an annual basis. The other option is a monthly subscription, which is $119 a month, month to month. Um, and there's no contract. You are able to set these up within your Mighty Cause account and manage your subscription all by yourself. All right. Oh, uh, yes, Mighty Cause Advanced is optional, correct. You do not have to sign up for it. Um, is there a team that helps the nonprofit like GiftGab? Yes, you do get an account manager um, assigned to your organization. That is correct. Ticket pricing is done through Eventbrite. So we integrate with Eventbrite but all of the kind of ticket pricing tiers, et cetera, you set up on your Eventbrite page, it's fairly flexible, but from a data side, you would be getting that data from Eventbrite. Uh, and then we handle all of the donation data. Cost per transaction. So the transaction processing fee is for organizations, it at most will be 2.2% plus 29 cents and donors do have the option to cover the fees. Okay, and this question is the subscription ends, will you be able to renew it the next year once you're active again? Yes, um, exactly. So for example, if you run an annual event, let's say that's September through December, you sign up for those four months and then you're done, you could turn it off in the following year, 
you can hop back on and activate it again. Exactly. It's super flexible so that you can use it when your organization is active. Then if you know you're going to be active on a year round basis, that's where the annual subscription would make more sense. Um, for organizations, the most you will pay in processing is 2.2% plus 29 cents if a donor does not cover the processing fees. And once again, for kind of deeper uh, level demo, uh, more information, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm going to back up to my contacts real quick. It's austin at mightycause.com. So you can email me directly if you'd like to set up a demo or just walk through any features or do a phone call. I'm always happy to um, address any questions or dive in deeper on anything. Or you can just go to the get a demo button on our website and I will get notified that way as well. Either one of those method works and I'm happy to dive in a little deeper. Let's see, yes, constant contact is one of the integrations. Um, out of the box reporting is very customizable. You're able to filter a number of reports by date, donation type, and bounce them out. That's definitely something I could dive in uh, deeper during a demo presentation. Uh, and then just terms of security, Margaret, it's uh, we are PC, PCI compliance. Um, we have a SOC 1 audit. There's that, if you would like more security information, I can definitely send you um, our security policy as well. All right, well, if there are no other questions, thank you all for attending. And for any follow-up questions, or if you wanna dive into more details, uh, feel free again to reach out to me at austin at mightycause.com. Um, feel free to email me directly and I will get back with you very quickly. And we can definitely set up either a phone call or a Zoom meeting to dive into any deeper questions. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for your time. All righty. Oh, and uh, last, this recording will be available um, to view as well. And I'll make sure the slide deck gets out too if you want to go over any of this information again. But thank you guys again and have a great rest of your day. All righty.